Good morning, everybody. I have another fake PayPal email. Yes. Now, do you remember? I'm going to turn this sideways. Please don't mind the little wisp of smoke. I'm having my first morning cigarette. Yes, first morning cigarette, first coffee. Coffee's over here. I haven't even sipped it yet. Um, and the first thing I get in my email is a fake PayPal. Now, number one, anybody who wants to simplify things, trying to focus on my laptop screen here. Come on. You see how it says service at internationalpaypal.com? PayPal doesn't have an email like that, okay? All right, so, all right, to keep the smoke up. I'm in a no-win situation here. So I put it on one side. The smoke's going to go one way. So, service, international, PayPal. But now I want you to pay attention at the actual from email. Here we go again with... There we go. Now you can see it. Okay. Now, the from email is what is inside the little brackets. The greater than and less than sign. And if you look... It's coming from intel.com, somebody's personal email, okay? These are made by what's called bots, <clears throat> an automated uh, thing that just picks and chooses which emails to send to. Now, here's the funny thing, okay? The really funny thing, this is how I absolutely know it's a fake PayPal email. 100% absolutely no. <clears throat> no, I don't have COVID. <clears throat> I have COPD. And with it, we're in California, and all that smoke from the wildfires is settling in our valley. Uh, no, I'm not in danger. Thank you for asking. Not in danger. Um, it's just the smoke comes to Southern California and just hangs out here for months at a time. But anyway, anyway, I absolutely 100% know this is a fake PayPal email. As you see the two email, the turner28 at yahoo.com, I don't have a PayPal on that email. <laughs> so that kind of simplifies things for me. So the, remember the trick, remember the trick I was showing you guys. All right. So if you hold on a computer, I still haven't figured out how to do this on a phone. But on a computer, if you hold your mouse over, it will show you the link down in the bottom left-hand corner. So, this is saying it's a newsletter. So, obviously, it's coming from a blog. Somebody's blog. See there? Newsletter. Okay. Me to... Is that me dot to... Let me see that. All right. So just out of curiosity, never, ever, ever click on that. Okay. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type in the web address. Me too dot D O. Let's see what comes up. <laughs> this is the website that comes up from the PayPal email. All right, it's Korean. Wants me to translate it from Korea to English. So, as you can see, it's Korean. So, I'm going to translate it to English. If it will. And it's not going to. Hmm. Uh, it says, the page you requested could not be found. That's what it says. So if we go back here, remember, hold your mouse cursor over. The website is me2.do. That supposedly takes you to, right? Now, when you type it in, when you just simply type it in your browser, you don't click the link, this is what it takes you to. Website does not exist. All right. So I'm going to turn it back around. 
I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to come over here. Ah, not Facebook. And I'm going to say good night. Or no, good morning. Good morning. It's 6.19 a.m. Not enough coffee yet. I'm going to have my coffee. And now you guys know how to check for your fake PayPals. Do not ever click the links. Ever, ever, ever. Even if you suspect it's really from PayPal, check it first. There's way too many of these going around. All right, guys.